Pikeville Fire Department has gone through some additional training to be better prepared for school-related emergencies. With classes in Pike County and Pikeville Independent Schools resuming, members of the department are getting more familiar with local school buildings to ensure the safety of students. Mountaintop News spoke with Pikeville Fire Department to hear more. So today we trained on Tower 1. That's our aerial apparatus that was housed here at Station 1. Uh, we got it out, kind of went through the setup, done some different maneuvers with it, different ways of setting it up, different scenarios. Uh, then we moved from out here on our drill tower down to the grade school and done some training there, trying to get to some windows, getting up on the roof, uh, kind of like if we were to go on an incident up there or a fire alarm or anything that could happen up there, just trying to get familiar with it, uh, more or less using the truck, trying to train some of our guys that don't get a lot of hands-on with it, trying to get, get some experience for them, let them know how to use it, uh, get a, let them get a feel for it and getting the operations down. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Becoming familiar with a single school building is no easy feat, especially in a rural area. Pikeville Fire Department continues to train its members to handle any scenario. We have the elementary school as well as the high school. Uh, that's Pikeville Independent Schools that is in our city limits. Uh, and then some mutual aids that are nearby. Uh, we know that Pike Central and Mullins are extremely close. They're out in the county. If an incident happened there, we could be mutual aided. So getting familiar with that truck on some of these bigger structures in an area where it might be used uh, helps us be more efficient to set it up, know how to use it, what it can be used for, know its limitations and its operations. In a real world scenario, best case scenario, the, when the fire alarm goes off, then the school's evacuation plan is going to help get all the students out before we get there. Uh, their accountability is going to tell us if all of the students are out, if everyone's been accounted for. Uh, if not, then that's when we're going to have to go through and begin a search. Uh, most likely going to be through the front door. Uh, very rarely would we use the tower for search, but it would be used to trap or to rescue like a trapped occupant that may be trapped in a room somewhere and not be able to get out. If their only access is a window, or some place where we can get our truck to, then we can make that rescue that way or be, make ourselves available to get to them in an inconvenient space. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.